Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to wish everyone a happy 4th of July. Hopefully you're not looking at this video today. You're out having some fun. I thought I would just do a review cartridge, um, a review for this cartridge I just got from Cricut Tags, Bags, Boxes, and More 2. I missed that on the version 1, and um, I never thought they'd come out with another one, so I just settled for Sweet Tooth Boxes, because I know some of those were in the um, first Tags, Bags, Boxes, and More, at least I think they were. Um, and then I was just ecstatic, and then I got this through Amazon. Um, they had run out at Joann's. It was a really great um, deal. Um, Amazon was selling it for the same sale price as Joann's, so I got it that way. So, um, oh, I, I wanted to show you guys my 4th of July nail polish. Um, I look at Cute Polish, um, their channel, every week, and I just fall in love with all the designs I've been practicing. This one was easy. I didn't use any striper brush. Um, so I just basically took some colors um, of the fireworks and then just put um, this chunky glitter glaze on top um, and I'll, I'll let you know what the colors are in the uh, box below um, so anyways here we go um, uh, hold on a sec guys my washing machine is going to be making a bunch of noise I'll be right back so when I looked at the reviews when I was just doing due diligence for this cartridge I was really thankful that people had mentioned you need this scoring, uh, well, yeah, it's a scoring blade. I haven't used it. Um, I've read that it doesn't score enough, like it's a very faint score. But I would imagine, just like any of the other blade cartridges, you could adjust the depth or whatever. So um, I, I'll post another video after I try one of these and let you know how it comes out. But um, anyways, um, let's quickly skip through to the actual boxes. Um, the thing I was most excited about were these gable boxes. I had seen a video of someone doing a gable box. And um, you can buy them in, um, made out of uh, chipboard from people on Etsy and then just decorate it. But I just wanted um, something that I could do um, where I could cover the whole thing or just with decorative paper or just make it from decorative paper. So there's several gable boxes in here. I was so excited about it. The only drawback is I don't know how much it can handle. Maybe just some very light, like Easter basket filling type filling with a few goodies on top. Um, hold on, I'm about to run out of battery, so I'll be right back. Okay, I know my camera always shakes, so I apologize. I have one of these ancient cameras that costs... It, it feels like it's too much to hand, handle with one hand, so um, I try to hold it with two hands, but then when I turn the page, it's going to shake a bit, but... I'm just going to pan across so you can see there's phrases in there. Um, so that's the second cable box. Gable box, excuse me. Here's another one. I can't really tell if those are hearts. It looks like they're hearts on the side. Yeah. And uh, here's another one. Um, let's see, let me scoot back so I can pan across the page. Um, here is um, what looks to be a pyramid. I've never seen anything like that. I love that card. Look at that. You don't need a gypsy and you can just turn it into a little card there. The teacup um, is here. I've got a Sizzix die for a teacup, which I think I like better, but. I know so, so many of you girls out there would turn this into some amazing, um, not out of this world um, decoration with all the flowers and things that are out there. I'm not that good at that. This is, I don't know what you guys want to call this. I'm not familiar with, they're not, they don't seem to be calling it anything, but um, it looks rather flat. Another cute folded card. And then there's this get well phrase. Okay, here's the next one. Here's a coffee cup. And the I'm sorry theme here. And this looks like a crayon box. And I'll pan across so you can see it looks like a birthday theme. One year older. And then you've got this little sweet card. Interesting. And then, um, I'm not too thrilled with that one, but I'm sure somebody could do something amazingly awesome with it. This is a, like a gift theme for you. 
Just the gable boxes alone made me so excited. This reminds me of those one of those cubes where you put a photo in every section. Not quite sure. I'm sure tons of people come up with amazing ideas for that. Um, okay, here's the pillow box. <clears throat> I've been dying to get that Sizzix pillow box die. And I feel so excited because now I don't have to buy it. It's so expensive as the same price as this cartridge, I'm sure. Looks cute, kind of a retro kind of pillow thingy there. And um, you know how, uh, I don't know if you guys, sew, some of you sew, but I've seen patterns for things like this where you have a cute little thing that you might tack onto the wall and pencils and notepads and stuff go on it. So I'm sure you, you could use it for, it says why not. It's the expression. And this little guy here is just kind of like a thin, tall box with a flap. And I'll pan across the top. This is for a friend. Um, okay, this one also um, tall, thin with a flap. It says, congrats. And then this one here, um, that reminds me of a quilt block. It's either called Tea Leaves or Joseph's Coat. It really looks cool in a quilt. I'm not familiar with seeing this as a box, but. Very different, very unique. I'll pan across the top here. And it says, Happy Mother's Day. So that's very cool. I don't have a stamp for Happy Mother's Day. I'm very thankful to have that expression now. I'm really in love with this. It looks like a little clutch purse. But um, you know how sometimes you need like a little tent? when, Like they call them tents when you do marketing stuff. If you have a craft fair booth or something, that would be really cool. You could put a uh, sign on it says something about your store here. This is the flap where you open and close it. And then um, it says treat for you. So um, it's kind of cool because the rectangle shape can accommodate different sizes of things. Oh, look at this birdhouse, you guys. I don't know if I have birdhouses in my other cartridges, but I know they look so cute. I'm constantly seeing birdhouses in that Stampington magazine. And I'm not really a fan of birds or anything, but when you see them in the magazines is so awesome. This is in the doghouse, so maybe they're maybe that little oh, I don't know, I guess they're interpreting this as a birdhouse. Or sorry, <laughs> a doghouse, sorry. Um this is really unique. It's a um it's a box um with a man's shirt on it. Great for Father's Day. There's the tie. Um it says Happy Father's Day, so that's great, awesome. I think some of you guys will really love this. Look, it's a little onesie um, with the back and front of the box being a onesie. I'll, I'm a big fan, a big, huge fan of onesies. Welcome, little one. Isn't that awesome? You guys are so cute. I think this is a Christmas tree ornament. You know, it's so plain, but once it gets decorated, I'm sure it'll be just way too cool for whoever makes these. Can't wait to start seeing videos of people making some of these. This is like a snowflake on top of a box. Isn't that fun? It looks like a snowflake ornament which could be really cool. And then, um, yeah, sorry. It says warm wishes. And um, this looks like a Christmas tree ornament. And I'm sure whatever you do with it, it would just, it's just, so I love the detail on the top. It's so neat. And if you imagine it in Christmas paper and all that. And then I guess that might be a tag for that tree. And it says Merry Christmas, another Merry Christmas. This is so cute. It's a strawberry basket. At least that's what, how I see it. I love that so much. I think I would put little pink um, Easter basket filling in there. Like that crinkly paper you get at Michael's. You could um, put some strawberries made out of felt something really cute in there give it to a friend make it a decoration for your kitchen so they're saying happy Easter hmm. so I guess the, you put a bunny in there so maybe Easter eggs they meant it to be an Easter basket okay um let's see you guys look at that I I caught on late to that whole concept at Target where 
you buy these little uh, mailboxes with the flags for Valentine's. So cute. So gosh darn cute. Um, so there's a heart and the expression, be mine. Isn't that script really pretty? Um, oh, this is something also I really fell in love with. Didn't even see it on the box. Um, it's a, a pumpkin on both sides. And AccuCut has this album with a pumpkin on it, just like this. It's just, I've been having that on my wish list for years. It's just so expensive. And then you get this little happy, happy Halloween with the bats in the background. Or you can just do your bats there. And these look like tags. Isn't that awesome? I'm such a big fan of Halloween. I think they've covered a lot of the holidays and occasions. And this, they did, this is, I think, my all-time favorite cricket cartridge right now. This looks like a Chinese box to me. Chinese takeout box. Um, and here's something similar. Chinese takeout box. Sorry again for the... And because... I can't even read that, guys. Because I care. Okay. So the only thing I worry about is how sturdy these boxes would be. Um, I've been collecting all my cereal boxes to use as chipboard to cut on the Cricut. Um, it's, it would be interesting to see if it would cut out on the chipboard from the cereal box and then cover it with um, designer paper. So I'm, I've got like a learning curve to go through. I haven't done one of these. Isn't that sweet? So sweet. I've seen these before. I can't recall. I think it's a Sizzix Big Shot Pro die or something like that. But here it is. This is the beauty. I think I think Cricut, or Pro Provocraft, is doing a great job of keeping up with their competitors um, by offering all of these. I mean, if you had to buy a separate die for each of these, it would just be a fortune having it all in one cartridge. This is like they did a knockout job. So, you guys know, if you're familiar with Cricut or Sizzix um, cartridges, they have one for the Big Shot Pro, just like that. And I was like, thought it was just always awesome. I've seen them in magazines all decorated up. And um, so you get to do that. And it says, Blushing Bright, that's really cute. And then down here, Sizzix also has a die very similar. So you get to make the tuxedo box and it says uh, to the groom, to the bride and groom. And this looks like a box um, where it kind of looks like it's imitating a chair with the box uh, as the seat. And it says Mr. and Mrs. And then this is just a basic, basic box. Imagine you can make it all sizes. Um, that one looks pretty simple to put together. It says thanks for helping. So, um, I've heard people say that they don't like the tick marks from previous cartridges for, that show where the fold line is. So you can eliminate those in your gypsy, but then you got to figure out where the fold should be. And um, so I think Cricut did a really good job of um, making this um, scoring blade. So, um, it gives you the folding line guidance without the little tick marks because those tick marks kind of look like they've torn the paper a bit. So that's just awesome. Um, this is, I don't know, like a eight-sided box it looks like really. And it says, miss you, little flower. And you know what, you guys, look, I know this is sold as some kind of dye from AccuCut or Sizzix. This so-called, I don't know what you guys call this. I always call it like a candy wrapper box. I've never been a big fan of it, but it's here. So if you ever decided to do, do something with something like that, you would have it in here. Um, this looks like a treasure box to me. And it says, um, welcome to the neighborhood. So um, I'll just pan across and let you guys interpret what you think all that's about. Um, Oh, I'm so sorry. There's a child in our neighborhood that cries all the time. It just breaks my heart. Hopefully you're not hearing it on the video. 
Oh, hold on. I can hear her crying. Oh, it's so sad. Sorry about that. Um, this is sort of like a long um, pyramid type thing with a little hook there. And it says, uh, feel better. And then, um, this is, I've been to paper, this store called Paper Source. There, there's only like a, maybe a dozen stores in the country, but if you go to their online store, you can order things like this. I've seen these kind of things in the store. And, um, here's another box where you can kind of see the top is kind of a little loose there, but I think it's meant to be like that. This little girl loves her daddy so much. Every time he leaves, she cries a lot. Um, so here's another box like that, but it has like a little flower on top. And um, here's another box. I don't know, it reminds me of that crayon box, but without a lid. You know, I was thinking you could put a little tiny mini in there or something. I'm not quite sure. It says game night. Oh, so like a pack of card. It's a um, pack of card box. Okay, cool. And then, look, a pizza box. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love that. And then, this looks like one of those french fry boxes. Pan across the top. It says, we miss you. And this looks like a... Um, see how it has that accordion pleat? And then the top fold? Um, it looks like a document holder to me. Let's see what they're saying. It says, you're great. Kind of like a document holder box, I'm not quite sure, but there's definitely room in there to put, um, you know, the added width to put um, more than just some, if, if it were just flat. I don't know. Um, I don't have that, my imagination is not that creative. When I see other people do things, I'm like, oh, I get all excited, but I can't envision sometimes what, how, you know, you can make, turn something into something, like what that, the purpose for things are and stuff like that. I mean, sorry for blabbing on here. So this looks like something very similar. There's sort of an accordion type um, element there on the side for extra width. And it has just a different flap. I'm imagining that this could be like a little mini within a mini. Um, hugs and kisses is what it says. I guess it just depends on what you have and what, what you want to gift and then going through here and looking like at which box seems most appropriate for the items that you have. This also has an accordion side with a different flap and the expression you're the bomb. <laughs> and um, this one looks like a long rectangular box with the lid open so you can kind of imagine. I, I'm not sure if the li when, once you put the lid down if, it, if it's like a, a curved kind of treasure box look or if it's a flat but it's looks like it's going to be like a flat top to me and it says uh, oh my gosh to my bestie you know I knew I've heard BFF forever but I heard this bestie thing for the first time last week it's like oh my god now everybody's using the word bestie <laughs> I'm like probably the last person to know okay that's it there okay but the really cool thing I want to sorry for my arm. You guys, I'm a terrible video uh, agrifer. This it comes with this book for assembly instructions. So for every um, box you have, they take you through step by step what you have to do to get to the completed box. So I won't go through all of it, but I just wanted to show you that um, there's some guidance there. You know what? I didn't see this in the main. A cartridge booklet, but it looks like one of those milk cartons. You know that this, there's a Sizzix die that has a milk carton. I don't know where the opening is, but um, that is so precious. Um, so just wanted to give you a feel for that. So, anyways, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Fourth of July, and um, Thank you, everybody, for all the people who post videos that I've been enjoying so much. And um, look forward to seeing all your videos on the next time. So, happy holidays, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.